All right, well, here I am back in beautiful, beautiful Sapienza, Italy. And I'm here today with two goals and two goals only. The first of which is to have a deliciously creamy Italian gelato at Gelateria Bella. And the other is to just kill everybody using the Hitman 3 randomizer mod, baby. Speaking of which, it looks like I've started with a rather interesting collection of items. The HWK-21, an ancient cannonball, a concussion grenade, a UI prop detonator remote cure name, and a UI prop detonator device remote cure three name my favorite <laughs> hold on a second this is where the tip is meant to be and uh, somebody's decided to tip the waiters <laughs> at the gelato shop with a meat cleaver the burj al ghazali snow globe and of course <laughs> some lethal oh sorry i picked up a meat cleaver i shouldn't have done that hey eh? anyway now that i'm a member of staff and uh, my cheekbones have shrunk to relatively normal proportions. I guess I'll slip on in and see what we've got lying around the kitchen. Oh, baby, <laughs> the explosive golf ball and an accident waiting to happen. Hey. Oh, you Wait, noticed that, did you? Oh, anyway, it looks like over here we've got the ICA explosive. Oh, dear. I mean, is he somebody's friend? Uh, you look like you're catching on. You, you need to answer the phone right now. <laughs> What in the world? All right, well, he's no longer a problem and I had nothing to do with it. I'll just be <laughs> picking up my phone and leaving. So that was a close call, but fortunately, everything worked out fine. And now I'm going to head into avocado hold on this is weird i expected to find avocado full of hipsters anyway before getting on with the mission i feel like i should probably go up to my apartment and check what cheeky toys diana's left for me to help me get the job done now just unlock the door and like a gentleman ring the bell to make sure that i'm not home first okay looks like the coast is clear what have i got on the table a hackless covert boring then in the kitchen <laughs> where the explosive golf ball used to be a giant bear then instead of a knife i've got starfish which which happens to be my favorite position and a Jager 9 copperhead inside of this suitcase. Spicy. Actually, I'm going to put it back in the suitcase and I'm going to take it somewhere to do something special. So what we're going to do first up, crack out the silence pew pew and then just, you know, one of these ones and one of those and that and then that. Okay, now that that's done, let me get my ginormous sniper rifle, slap it on my extra sticky back, and climb my way to the top of this tower. Now, rumor has it that there is a boat somewhere out there at sea that has a couple of bell- Ah, yes, bells that need dinging. And if you ring these bells in the correct order, which I, I actually not really sure what it is, then a kraken will appear. Obviously, I did that wrong. All right, so what I want to try and do now is make my way to the observatory without getting detected. Could be a little bit difficult, though. After all, there are a lot of guards hanging around the place, and everybody seems to think I'm suspicious. Ah, yes, a lethal poison pill job. <laughs> of course. And then I'm pretty sure that now I should have unobstructed access to whatever it is that I'm looking for. Okay, there's a bell, there's a bell, there's a bell, and there's a bell. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Look at that. This, this is definitely... No, it's a Kodak moment. Let me zoom in, you prick. No, I don't need filters. What the hell is happening? This is r stupid. Now, up here in the observatory, there are usually a couple of interesting things lying around in this room. Like, uh, okay, not that interesting. Now, we should probably lure this guy in here. Thank you. Guess it's not even up for debate anymore. I am, without a doubt, Sylvia Caruso's golden boy you know because whoa <laughs> whoa whoa how that how how do you how do you do that oh no you don't nobody saw that right oh wow literally <laughs> literally nobody did see that that's unbelievable all right so everything's going smoothly he fell oh no sylvia's on the move oh he's got a lot of guards with him too not for long though hey cazzo ciao This should be interesting. You can say that again, 47. It doesn't work on unconscious people? Strange. Let's try this again, Sylvia. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Bye. Not. <laughs> You're not going anywhere, Sylvia. Unnoticed kill. Hold on. Wait, what? Really? <laughs> Are you sure? All right, let's try this again. <laughs> oh, no. What have I done? Well, you know, I guess stranger things have happened, haven't they? <laughs> Have they? I mean, they probably haven't. Meanwhile, 
<laughs> Silvio's still stuck down here in the middle of an abduction gone wrong. I can't help but wonder, though, if I were to drag Silvio, would I also drag the UFO with me? <laughs> They're attached now. How about then if I were to drop a remote explosive and then... <laughs> It's so dumb. This gives me some potentially outrageous ideas. Wow, you've received some interesting tips today. Here's another one to add to your collection. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, no. Anybody else want to pick that up? All right, so while everybody electrocutes themselves in a massive pile right here, I realized that I just picked up another telephone. This should be interesting. One debt to society later. <laughs> This is just getting wacky now. Oh, it's just too good. Come on, everyone. Just I could leave those phones here, and I'm pretty sure the map would wipe itself out. Ah, very clever of you, Francesca de Panties. You thought that by hiding in the men's toilet, you would never be found. Unfortunately for you, though, I'm a man. And what I want to try now is to throw a cannonball, like, midair. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so she's still here, but she's unconscious, and the alien's just like, what the hell do I do now, bro? Which is a really good question. A question that I don't have the answer to, but being the curious and inquisitive fellow that I am, I am determined to find out. <laughs> <laughs> the bodies are still piling up. All right, good Samaritans. There's somebody over here that needs your help. And as for me, my veranda looks like the perfect location. <laughs> what in the world? Here we go. It's happening. Yes, wake her up. Okay, now, is she just going to walk the UFO around like a dog on a leash? <laughs> oh, goodness me. Oh, they're multiplying. What the flip? Francesca de Santis, what is happening? You don't move. Sorry, everybody. Nothing personal. It's just the kill everybody challenge. Everybody except Francesca de Santis, who is now under the jurisdiction of the alien space force of space. Uh, not so fast, Francesca. Get down here, you flipping. <laughs> you flipping lovely person. That's, that looks uncomfortable. All right, so this is really unfortunate because if I actually had a whole bunch of explosives like I usually do whenever I go out on a mission, I would have been able to launch Francesca out to sea and like watch what happens to the UFO as it tries to follow her <laughs> out of the Earth's atmosphere. But unfortunately, um, I don't have any explosives at all. Either way, I think that at this point, we're pretty much done. Just got a couple more loose ends to pick up like Fabio over here picking up his invisible girlfriend. And the people in the main square that seem to be completely oblivious to what's happened 20 meters down, <laughs> down the footpath. Much, much, much later. All right, well, I have a feeling this might be the very last one left. Laters. What the hell? See you later, Sapienza. It's been real, real freaking random.